Welcome back, my Chrysalis, to some more discourse. Okay, let's see who lives and who dies in this episode. Uh, but right now, I'm just gonna give people jobs. Alright, so who do I want to stick with me to build a raft? I kinda want Jolene to stay with me. Rita, do you, have you considered ident identifying one of us for a management position? I believe I would be an excellent candidate for such an important task. Uh, thanks, Jolene, but I think I've got it under control. Jolene, find a supplies. Build a raft. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna help. I want her to help me build a raft. Why don't you help me make a raft instead? Hm, fine. But do keep my humble offer in mind. Sure. Let's get this over with, I guess. What am I doing? Okay, you go for the supplies, bro. And, yeah. You're very ecstatic, huh? You can't screw this up, Rita. Important eyes will be watching to see how we perform. Are we talking about the government again? Naturally. Oh, I can have more. I can have three people build us the raft with me. I mean, I think two for two, like two people doing the raft, two people finding supplies is a good thing. So let's do that. So me and Jolene will build stuff. You guys find supplies. Let's have you look for supplies. Count on me, Rita. Okay, I think that's everyone. If this is where, if this were a movie, this is where the montage would start. <laughs> Uh-huh, I bet a montage is about to start because it's a game. Oh, well, never mind. We're just gonna look at this nice little wave. What a happy little, happy little shoreline. Not going to kill us right now. Oh, that was quick. Okay. I see some underwear in that sail and a bra. Phew, that was pretty intense. At least the raft is finally complete. I think the body of the raft came out great. No way could I have done that alone. Well, good old-fashioned elbow grease never hurt nothing. Surprising that what you can learn growing up on a farm. Our sail looks really solid too. Where the heck did you find the clothes for that sail? Oh, that was my idea. I stumbled across some luggage from the crash on the beach. I remembered I had my stapler with me, and voila, stapler. I was unable to find anything myself because my talents were needed elsewhere. Huh. Weird. But okay. Sorry, what? If you must know, I spend much of the day investigating some very suspicious rock formations. Using my metal detector, I scanned the surrounding area. I was hoping to find the surveillance equipment being used to spy on us. So, what did you find? Well, nothing. But they were very suspicious rock formations. Come on, Teddy. Ah, oh, Teddy, you're so useless. It's getting late. I should've just let him under a tree, man. We should be heading back to camp soon. Good thinking. We'll get a full night's rest and depart in the morning. Hold on a second. Will we all fit on there? The raft seems a little small to hold all of us. Crap. Why didn't we think about this before? This is re really all of the usual wood we could find, though. I estimate that only three of us can ride safely at once. We should figure out which three. Well, Rita, this was your idea, so you must be going. Which two of us do you want to come with you? Me? How should I know? Ugh, this is terrible. I guess I'll chat with each of you privately and figure this out. What the heck? What? How is that a good idea? I guess I'll talk to each of you privately and make my own decisions to see who lives and who dies. Ugh, I want in, Rita. This is our chance to make contact with our captors. I'm the only one paying attention. There must be a lot on that raft. Nope. Uh, I need to think about this some more. I think I know what I'm gonna do, but let's just see what they say. How about you, Steve? Wanna come? Thanks, but no thanks. Our raft is great and all, but if it's all the same to you, I'd rather wait for a real boat. Oh, okay. Well, let me think of it. Honey, I think I should be allowed to come along. I don't truly think the others even have it in them, do you? Well, she's the only one that actually wants to. Well, her and Teddy want to go. Steve straight up doesn't want to. That's the spirit. So, yeah. I don't want Teddy to come, to be honest. Because he's crazy and kind of useless most of the time. And didn't he have a lot more watches on him than before? I mean, he used to have more watches. <sighs> okay, Steve doesn't want to be there. Teddy just straight up wants to be there. So that kind of does my job, but at the same time, I don't want Teddy to be there. I think he's a loser. I think he's a loser. Oh man, I don't know, dude. Um, let's just find 
Fine, I'll take him just because he wants to. Just because he wants to. He's so useless, though. <laughs> Screw it. Steve, come here. What's up? You're coming with me, man. I'd really like it if you'd come along. Uh, great, sure. I just don't want Teddy because he sucks. Okay, it's a sad. Julie and Steve will come with me tomorrow. This is an outrage. I demand justice. Okay. Can we not fight about this for once? We're going back to the island. Nobody gets left behind. We really should be getting back to camp if we're going to get some sleep tonight. Okay, well, I don't know what's going to happen at all. Hopefully, we live. <laughs> but hey, something tells me probably not going to happen. Our old camp isn't in great shape, and we lost our fire. But I guess it'll do for one more night. Okay, let's just talk to the peeps, I guess. Hey there, Rita. Hey, Jolene. I've been wondering, what do you miss about home? Well, for our fifth anniversary, George made me a big old wooden rocking chair. That's so sweet. That's what you miss most? That's so sweet. That's really sweet, Jolene. I would give anything to sit on that porch and watch the sun set in that chair right now. I bet. Now you get me thinking all sentimental. You have no idea how much I miss my George. Alright, good night, Jolene. Night, Rita. <laughs> it's a little cold, I guess, but whatever. Hey, Rita. Hey, Steve. Are you looking forward to actually trying to get off the side? I'm looking forward to this whole disaster being over one way or another. That's a bit dark. Me too, Steve. Uh, don't you think that's a little dark? Like our future? I think maybe some sleep would do you some good. Yeah, night, Rita. Night. Okay, it's never been that useful, huh? Hello, Rita. Do you think that offshore light is going to help us? Well, I... it might not even be there. What are you talking about? There's just a good chance that... Uh, of a chance of us just imagining a light as there is of it actually being there. So you think we're just making it up in our heads? After being on an island this long, we very well could. It's the weakness of the human mind. Well, I sure hope you're wrong. Me too, Rita. Okay, Teddy, I'm gonna go get some sleep now. Night, Rita, just remember to sleep with the one I open. Okay, that's actually the most normal and reasonable kind of thing Teddy's ever said this whole game. Everybody else is heading to bed, I guess I should too. I mean, it, it sucks if that were the case, because then we'd be sailing towards nothing. Looks like it's one more night in my old spot, they're not to see. Good night. This game is rough, man. Garrett died off screen. George died because of a jaguar attack. Where did we get water bottles? Alright, I suppose we should get going. With any luck, we'll make it to the light in a day or so, and then we can return with help. I guess this is where we say goodbye. Hmm, likely story. Bye. Toodaloo! Okay, let's go. Where's the cat? Hi, do you want to come with us? Wow! I don't know if that's yes or no. Okay then, welcome aboard, sailor. Oh. Okay, yes, yes. I can't believe that you think I'm unworthy to come on this mission. You'll regret this. I don't think you're unworthy. I actually, I just need the smartest person to stay on the island. You know, to make sure the government isn't up to anything. Huh, you're pretty sharp, Rita. Good thinking. Uh, he was easily appeased. Are we sure that this thing is going to hold up? Not a clue. Great, I guess this is a good way to speed up a death. <laughs> Hey, now, you could also save us. Could bring the operative word. Could being the operative word. Here. Okay. Alright, let's get this shit moving. We've got a job to do. I'm glad one of us is confident. Fuck up, Rita. We'll be fine. And if we aren't, we won't have time to worry about it. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, you know, guys, drowning is a terrible thing. Not that I know firsthand, but I'm sure... Without a doubt that it's terrible, and we might experience it today. Let's go! <laughs> it's a good speech, right? Push off raft. Yeah, not yet. Let's just walk a tiny bit. See what happens. We're walking around. Walking around. The thing look, looks kind of rickety. It keeps moving, but whatever. Let's do it. Okay, guys, let's get out of here. This looks like this might be the end of the game, so... This episode might be a little bit longer just to accommodate the rest of this game. I, I don't think there'll be that much after this. But let's see what happens. So Teddy's left behind because he's weird. 
We're sailing on the ocean. I sure hope that light out there is something useful. It's probably just a mirage. We've just all convinced ourselves that there's some sort of hope out there for us. Oh, Steve, you're such a downer! It's no wonder that you hate your life. It's almost like you want to be upset all the time. I mean, she's kind of right, but then that's sort of mean at the same time. Because that's not going to... Just saying that to his face isn't really going to help him at all. So I, I, I'll try to be on his side about it and be like, Okay, Jolene, just lay off a little bit. That's enough, Jolene. I'm sure Steve has a reason to be the way he is. I'm just saying, you got to stay positive if you're going to make it in this world. Well, you can see that's gotten us really far. We're alive, aren't we? Not at this rate. We're just, we just jumped into a suicide mission. Do you honestly think this rap is going to work? I think it's our best chance. Jolene's right. Just stay positive. We'll be fine. Alright, let's see what the heck happens. No idea what this light is. Are we getting close to something, or... It's crazy to think that people actually used to navigate water like this without any technology. My father had a sailboat that he used to take out on the lake. I've never been a very big fan of water. Well, it was still just a lake. You could see the shore no matter where you were. I can't imagine spending days at sea without any sight of land. Well, guess what, Steve? That's what we're doing. It would be hard to lose your mind in a situation like that. I'm not kidding. Maybe that's what happened to Teddy. He spent too much time away from civilization. I think it takes a little more than isolation to get like that. We should get some rest so we don't get seasick. Oh, okay. We're just gonna pass out on a rickety... The cat's still here, not doing it. Day eight. Day eight? Where'd the other days go? <laughs> that light's a long ways out, but I bet we're, we'll get there today. I think we're gonna be fine. Let's keep on sailing. Oh, that's what we're doing. I'm very curious as to what the heck the light is. Let's see, hopefully it's something. Wow, we're really getting close. Wait, it looks really small. I guess we're gonna find out. Here it comes! Oh, awesome. Okay, what the heck is it? What the heck is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man, I can't believe we came all this way for a stupid buoy. Oh, it's a buoy, great. Well, why don't we just go ahead and do some damage to it then? Wait, what? Why would we do that? Wait, if it's broken, maybe the people who run it will come to fix it. Let's bust this thing. Hey! That ought to do it. Nice smacking, Rita. Just breaking that thing down. I guess we have to turn back now. We can't last. A, we can't. We can't last out here waiting if we're, uh, if we're all starving. In the meantime, I guess we should see if we can catch some fish. Oh, cool. So that's kind of a positive note there, because whoever runs that thing might come and fix it because it's broken, and then we'll be around. Maybe they'll see us if we do some sort of signal. Looks like I'm the only one of us who had any luck. That's not entirely true. Kai caught a little something too. And then promptly ate it. At, la at least our pet won't starve. That's not what I meant. Come on guys, I think I did pretty good considering I was just scooping stuff up in a frying pan of all things. Well, you're the only one of us who manages to catch anything. Naturally, you'll be eating one of those. The question is, who eats the other one? She... These guys just like... Naturally, you get the good thing. Who decide our fates for us, please? It's like it's so weird, you know. <sighs> okay. Um. Sure. Let's see what happens here. I got a fish. I can give it to him or give it to her. I mean, she's like. I, I want to give it to her mostly because, mostly because I want her to survive the most because of her George mishap and her positivity and she's always been supporting me generally that weird that weird secret file about her was kind of uh it was kind of super strange actually but whatever i'm gonna give it to her are you giving it to me yes you eat it jolene thanks uh, i would i would actually like to make the decision to give the other one to steve and not me not eat it see what happens there yeah whatever i'm so hungry this is just how it is. I guess we should start getting it ready to sleep. <laughs> what strange writing, to be honest. Say you had known that. Say, say you had known that the plane was going to strand us on an island when you got on. I would have gotten on the plane. 
Well, obviously, but if he didn't have a choice. I'm pretty sure that I would have a choice. <laughs> Alright, but I know what you mean, Jolene. Well, you had known. What would you have brought with you? I suppose something useful, right? Something that you can hunt with, or maybe some canned food. Eh, all that stuff is so attainable. What do you mean? I mean, sure, it would be nice to have those things, but I just think that maybe you could bring something that would truly help you survive. Like what? I don't know, maybe a friend or somebody you know? Whoa, you don't get too sappy on us now. <laughs> Sorry, I guess the lack of supplies just doesn't seem like the real reason we're dying out here. You might be right. Alright, I think it's time we get some sleep. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to end the episode here on day 9. Thank you so much, my Crystalias, for watching. My name is Crystal Face, and let's just hope we'll make out of this alive. The rest of us. I, oh, man. I just thought of Teddy just being on all alone there. Oh, man. He's probably dead or something. Uh, anyways, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode.